we've spoken a lot about home language being the language of instruction and potentially even up to grade six. Does this depend on the context? So in some parts of South Africa, we, especially the rural areas, we have more homogeneous contexts in a, in a community and in a classroom where there's mainly one language. And in other parts, there might be a whole range of languages in one class. So just if anyone wants to speak to that, like do we need, like how do we do the right kind of differentiation? To what extent do we need a differentiated approach? Uh, or, or is your proposal basically, does it need any caveats basically? Um, yeah, sure. So I probably will tackle the, the second question um, on differentiated approaches. Um, and if I understand you correctly, uh, differentiated approaches in a multilingual classroom. Mm. Um, so I, I, think, I think it's probably, I mean, just I'm going to go back to my point of it then will then require the type of training that will enable the teacher to deal with a multi. Uh, lingual classroom. It means that they also need to be equipped um, to be able to manage that. Accompany that, mama and I'm like, then resourcing, then all the other things that come with that. But I think if you look at a similar, probably not similar, but if you look at the idea of um, dialects, which I know it's, it's, it's different, it's not different languages, we're talking about the same language, but with slight different linguistical uh, syntaxes features, or whatever, yeah. features, yeah. Okay. Um, and at least in the work that I, I did um, in Eastern Cape, is, is it still yet again boils down to how teachers teach. Um, very high level is that teachers were using, uh, they were using and teaching dialects rather than using the dialect as a medium to teach the standard diocese mm -hmm. They were using and teaching their dialects instead of using their dialects to teach the standardized as a closer. So I think, I, think, I think it would be very difficult and we would, have all, would need all the systems, everything in place to be able to execute that. And I think this is why in most scouting schools you see that they will split uh, the classrooms according to the different, you will get a school with three loads, two loads or whatever, and they will group, they'll group the learners into whichever load they, 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 they are in. So I think it would be very complex. Uh, and probably would need to really dive into understanding what would that entail. Um, but I think at the moment, because I haven't seen that work in any context, I'd say let's keep the group separate. Mm. 